Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, you knew I was going to talk about this. I didn't get a chance because I really needed to focus on the whole situation with Popeye's chicken. I felt that was very important to uh, educate our people and talk about, you know, that situation with Popeye's, basically how we being used and manipulated and stereotyped, you know what I'm saying, and made fun of at the same time. So I needed to address that. But now let me move on to hip hop. Now, in case you guys don't know, shout out to the homie Trinidad Onassis. He, he been following my channel. He been here for a while, man. He been here, man, he been here for a minute. But um, he wanted me to talk about the situation with Lord Jamal, Eminem, and, and Royce the 5'9". You knew I was gonna talk about that. You know, at the end of the day, um, it is just amazing how a lot of these dudes be sitting up here, you know, caping for Eminem and all that type of shit. Well, Royce the Five Nine decided to cape for for Massa Marshall Matters because Lord Jamal was getting at him just about a variety of different things, which he was telling the truth about Eminem, which I've been saying about Eminem for a while and his his fans can't seem to you know accept the fact that Eminem ain't no hood star that nobody in the hood play no fucking Eminem that's just fact you know nobody bumps Eminem in the bay on the streets I got subs all over the world all over the country in Chicago in Atlanta, in Detroit. CJ Goodfella is from Detroit. And he didn't say it on several occasions, which Sada Baby and a couple of other Detroit rappers has said. And Gucci Man has said this. Nobody in the hood bump Eminem. But they might be bumping them in the hood, the ones that like was eating that Popeye's chicken. They might be playing Eminem now. You never know, but before that, wasn't nobody playing no Eminem. Like I said, man, I'm a hip hop historian. I'm just keeping keeping it 100. Like I said, I ain't never been out on no date and no chick said, hey baby, um, could you throw in some of that Eminem? I wanna hear Eminem. I ain't never had no chick ask to hear no Eminem. If anything, they'll look at you like you crazy. To be honest with you, to be honest with you, really in the streets, people look at you funny if you say, uh, I want to hear some Eminem. I'm just keeping it 100. I'm not worried about no, no, you know, Elmer's glue people coming on here, getting upset. Nobody cares what you think. And I'm not worried about those other two clowns that's going to come on here caping for Eminem. Fuck you two motherfuckers too. So, and you cape for Eminem all you want. Fact is fact. I've been saying this for the longest. Eminem is a good rapper, but he ain't the GOAT. I done came with a ton of reasons to support my thoughts and my claims that Eminem ain't the greatest rapper that ever lived. He ain't. And the first thing that want to come out of uh, Caucasian people's mouth is, oh, look how many records he sold. So? So fucking what? Well, the latest statistics say that white people buy all the records anyway, so of course you're gonna go out and support your white brethren. You know what I'm saying? That's just been a myth they've been pushing for like the last 15 years. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it 100. You know, like I said before, what part y'all don't understand that y'all don't control shit? You don't tell me what to talk about. I say whatever I wanna say. Nobody cares about you guys being upset about me criticizing Eminem. Y'all just like these boxing fans. Everybody is, you know what I'm saying? Everybody is acceptable to criticism except the non-black fighters. You know, you criticize anybody except the except the non-blacks. You say anything about Lomachenko, you're a hater, you're a racist, and all that type of shit. These, just like the boxing uh, videos, no Caucasian people show up when I rip the uh, black fighters. Soon as you say something about 
the white fighters or the non-black, hey, hey, hold on, wait, wait, let's talk about this. Same thing with Eminem. You criticize whatever black rapper you want to, as soon as you say something about, hey, hey, let's talk about this. Fuck y'all, man. I, I ain't gotta like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta wait for y'all approval. Like, for, for me to voice my opinion, you don't run shit. Who cares what you think? Real talk. Eminem ain't the GOAT. But this happens all the time. It's been this myth that's been going on. And this, this, this secret oath that's been going on. You can criticize anybody except Precious Eminem. And like I said before, Eminem, they got away with putting out garbage material for years. He's put out trash. His albums, his last few albums have been pure garbage. I'm talking about hot, funky ass garbage. But you ain't allowed to say nothing about him because you may make white people upset. His main fan base, that's who his main fan base is. Only people that listen to Eminem is people that get ready to shoot up schools and um, that type of shit, blow up banks and, and you know, do that type of shit and, and just the epitome of uh, low lives. That's probably that uh, piece of shit in Chicago, you know, the dude with Little Man Complex. That's probably his favorite rapper. Because that's the type of people that listen to Eminem. I'm just saying. I'm, 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 just, I'm just saying. But Royce getting mad at Lord Jamal for voicing his opinion. Eminem is not, what part did you guys do not understand that Eminem is not off limits? He is not exempt from getting criticized. I don't have to like Eminem or his records because white people say I have to. I don't have to hold my opinion when it comes to Eminem because white people is going to get upset. Like I said before, who cares what you think? Okay, I'm, keep, I'm keeping it 100. Like I said, this has been going on for a while. And now, like I say, people breaking a silence now. And I think a lot of rappers felt like that. Now, before you say, what is Lord Jamal did for hip hop? First of all, he was part of the legendary group, Brand Nubian. Okay, legendary hip hop group. Don't let it go to your head now. Slow down. Wake up. You know what I'm saying? Punks jump up to get beat down. I'm, I mean, you know what I'm saying? All for one. Love me or leave me alone. Love versus hate. Back up against the wall. Yeah, that's what I thought. They gave us tons of classic songs like I said Eminem got famous by making fillers okay and with Dr. Dre's name behind him I, I didn't came with facts if Eminem so good how come some of the acts that he's tried to put out like bombed I'm, 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 I'm just stating the facts just state the facts, man. You know, just state the facts. What happened to Obi twice? What happened to some of them other groups he tried to put put out? D12 had, uh, D12 was cool. They had some success. But I'm just, just saying. Just keeping it 100. People hate to hear the truth. But getting back to Royce, I remember at one time Royce and Eminem was feuding for a minute. And like I said before, Royce need to uh, let Eminem fight his fight his own battles. He need to let Eminem hold his own nuts and stop like you know jumping you know jumping in front of him like you know acting like the dude from Life. Yes sir, boss. Let's go, boss. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Him and him and 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 Fifty Cent got it bad about that. 
soon as somebody say something about Eminem, then here they come, caping. But we already know that Curtis Jackson is 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 a big time coon, and Royce the Five Nine is cooning too. Like I said, why don't he stay out of it? Like I said last time, I I checked Eminem can speak for himself. He can write for himself. Y'all say he the greatest rapper of all time, some of y'all, so why can't he speak for himself? Why, why niggas always jumping in front of him and shit, defending him and caping for him and shit? But then again, I bet you these the same niggas that don't say nothing when it comes to white supremacy and police brutality. But then they want to sit up there and cape for Eminem for an overweighted, you know, overrated white rapper. I'm just, I'm just putting it in perspective. I'm just, I, I'm just putting it in perspective. I'm just calling it how I see it. Like I said, I know people gonna get upset when they hear this video. Good. And like I said, that's for those two clowns that's gonna come on here cape for him. You two, you two clowns. You know who you are. Like I said, it don't stop. The more you talk shit, the, the harder I go. Royce acting like a straight, you know what I'm saying, a straight handkerchief head. You know, he acted like a house, a house Negro that's trying to protect his massa. Like I said, if any of can speak for himself, real talk. So it is what it is. Anyway, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.